what's happening folks and welcome to another episode of stars of tomorrow an fm 20 series where we look at some of the young players on the game and see how they get on over the course of their careers both players that you guys give me in the comment section and players that i am curious about myself today is one of those players that you guys have put in the comment section I may use one review on this guy. When I saw the comment for this player, Talon Artis, I thought, sure, I've done a review on this guy, even myself. When I picked my own players, I wanted to look at. Apparently not. Um, so if you've got a, if you've got a player you want to have a look at, you want to have a look at, you think something people... Start that again. If you've got a player you want to look at or a player you think more people should know about, leave his name in the comments section. But do the, please do the following things. First of all, um, check the playlist. Make sure that player has not been done already. Second of all, uh, leave as much info on the player as you possibly can. So name, position, uh, club, and that kind of thing. Obviously, if it's obvious, like Mbappe, for example, I think I can find him. But if it's an obscure name, just make sure you give me as much info as possible so I can find him easily and set the database up quickly. And third of all, leave one comment. You don't have to leave more than one comment uh, in case you're wondering about, maybe you haven't seen it. I will reply to your comments and get to your video as soon as I physically can. It's been a crazy few days getting through these reviews. I really enjoy doing these. It's probably my favourite series to do because it's always going to be on my channel. No matter how long I'm making content for, this series will be continuing every single year without, without fail. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Also, this will be the last video I do on this lighting. I've got a, I've got a Gato key light coming. So hopefully, I'm going to test it out one evening, late in the evening, with, the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with just the light off behind me and the key light on shining on me. And see how it goes. It'd be dark behind me, but I think it looked better than the light currently is. Um, and it'll help the sort of the evening record, early evening recordings, where I can record at 8 p.m. usually because it's still a bit of daylight. Um, but it's not enough to, to look great on camera. So having the camera there will help that out. I might keep my name during recordings anyway to help, you know, to help anyway during the day. So let's go and get through this review, shall we? Let's go. Right, Eternal Martinez. You may have heard of him. He, he's got a decent partnership with some former United striker who we don't want to talk about today. Um, striker, Argentinian, £46.5 million. Pounds. Um, got already, you know, we can just see on the stats here. 15th mission, 16th first touch, penalty taken and technically the same. Very aggressive, uh, good anticipation and bravery, tonation and flair. He looks like a really fun player to manage. Again, a player I've not managed a foot manager ever. Uh, I've never signed him uh, or been into Milan. So, um, yeah, I know I know of him. Obviously, I've faced him plenty, plenty of times. And he's scored past me as well. I think he often goes to Liverpool when I've seen him on saves, if memory serves. So, anyway, um, plays his shots. So, that's interesting for one-on-ones. Con con contract information when the game actually lets me do it. Um, he's got a million lease cost of £96 million. Pounds. So, bear that in mind when you go and buy him that... I'm guessing Milan are going to be quite harsh on you there and try and get that deal, that money for him, but could be wrong. Let's go forward, guys. First jump and see how he gets on. Right, folks, he's now worth £66 million. It's a shame he's not worth about £3 million more, isn't it? Um, and, I mean, do I need to describe the stats on screen for you right now? The guy is just incredible. Mentally, he's insane. Um, and I'm guessing his goal return has been... Um, so, let's have a look at his injury record first. So, only one major injury in this time for lifting weights. So, keeping fit is a dangerous thing to do, guys. Um, though, actually, I'm trying to do my, more myself in, in, in that department. Um, so, yeah, not nothing here worrying me massively. I mean, you'd prefer none to be there, like, but, you know. So, confirmation again, he's not got any release clause now. How has he got on in the years we've been looking at him? So first year got twenty one goals, then got thirty six and eleven, then got twenty two and three, and then got twenty five and seven. So regularly getting twenty goal over twenty goals a season. All right, one season got twenty one, but you know still counts. Um, yeah, not a big surprise is it that this guy is banging them in. Um, looking at what kind of forward would he be? Well, he's got places shots and it's over a kick, so I'm guessing a flamboyant one uh, would be the way I'd phrase him. Um, yeah, he's got an arm and a leg in it, but he's going to score goals, so that's a massive bonus for him. So, again, another jump. Let's go. 
right? He's now 29 years old and he's still at um, Inter Milan. Look at his valuation. I'm saying nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, the mental stats stay the same. Uh, the physicals of I think relatively the same. I'm trying to think like I can remember, uh, but still not bad. You know, he's he's getting older now, so we're gonna start seeing a gradual decline in those. Um, technically very good still. Contract information. He's got no release cause here. Injuries. Let's have a look at this. Right. So we've got a couple of major ones. So to go to dates, go to, go to date. Um, got actually be, be easy, wouldn't it? I mean, they're, they're not like very close together, so that wouldn't. That's that's good. Um, damaged spine, in back from a fall in training. I mean, keeping fit. Um, three months. Yeah, but still though, banging them in in that 26, 27 season. Oh look, twenty six, twenty seven. He's still banged in. 16 goals and then season before 25. So it's not really affecting him, the injuries, is it really? Um, so he just, just doesn't move clubs. But I'm guessing the reason why he hasn't moved clubs is the valuation. He's been rare time of not seeing him move club in FM. Um, he might still do that yet, but let's go find out. But yeah, I mean, top class player. And these are his primes, I would say. So as you can see, he's now 32 years old and he didn't move anywhere um, at all. Um, and still solid stats. They've, they've stayed relatively the same for the whole career. Um, we've got places, shots, attempts away kicks, and knocked four past opponent. Um, overall, the bottom here you can see here in the appearances, overall career stats here, 232 goals in 385 appearances. That is insane. That's league in it, I think. Um, so let's have a look at the last few years. So we've got the 25, then 16. Then he got 21 goals. Then he got 25 and... Yeah. So, 20 goal season is what, he, is what he's been getting. And you cannot fault him. He's a fantastic player. I'm sure he'll score goals for any club you get him at. And you know what? Definitely worth buying. But the fee is going to be massive. Now, of course, you can structure that deal and you can work on... You can work on it. Your save may be different. You know, if it are struggling for a reason, which could happen, you can get maybe get a cheaper deal. I'd love to know if you've signed him yourself, guys, what fees you've got him for, because we know that these calls are like 90 million, um, and it was worth like 60 odd million as well. Let, let me know what you've signed him for, what you've seen him go for. I've seen him go for massive fees, to be honest. I can't quote the fee right now off the top of my head. But definitely a player that I would love to manage one day, on foot manager, it's definitely doable. Um, just you gotta be a massive club to get in, because uh, obviously the fees would be, like you just said, massive. So thanks for watching, folks. If I hope you enjoyed the video, my friend who asked me to do a review on Martinez. Not a big surprise was it really about him. He's a god, um, and I think you'd all really have loved, loved having him in your team. Um, thank you for watching, folks. We are updating. The, we are, like I said before, we are updating the whole system on YouTube. We are thinking of going to a, just a foot manager content channel. I think having Jedi followers on the channel is an issue. It it drags the viewership down because they don't because they don't see you watch people watching it. So I don't know if I mean I, I want to do a series on it, but I don't want it to inhibit the ability of the fact that way YouTube works is if I upload a video that's not regularly watched, it impacts the overall channel finding algorithm. So I don't want to do that. Um, so I didn't make a decision on that. What I'm going to do um, about other content on channel. I'd like to upload different content just other than manager. This will be daily, but I don't want to upload, upload content's gonna damage the channel. Because the way I understand it works, like I've said, is foot manager viewers will stay the same relatively. But if I have videos on there that are coming out and it's not hitting the numbers that we usually do, it's gonna be it where YouTube works. Oh you're not watching a video, right, you know, you know, regardless of what you've been watching, it won't work as well and hopefully um I can, we can avoid that situation so yeah don't forget guys down below if you enjoyed the video and you like what you see hit the like button down below if you want to see more from this series and this channel hit the subscribe button as well we've got an ix, an IX series um, if, and if you enjoyed the video i hope you have like i said every like helps helps the youtube youtube algorithm helps find new people to the channel we really want, i really want to start building a big base of foot manager viewers for the next game that comes out because I've got some safe planned 
for next year already in my head and they would require you guys to be heavily involved in so um i will see you next episode which i don't know who's going to be yet i've checked the list but until next time thank you so much for watching bye bye